Hello. Today we continue working on our shark attack game and in today's video we will add new scene like some kind of menu and we would start using some music and sound effects. So let's start. Uh, first we are going to define uh, like the new scene which will be used as starting point in the game where you like to say it press start like press space to start and press escape to exit so let's create mm -hmm. this scene. so i would click here add new scene and as the root node we are going to use uh text texture rect sorry color color rect and let's uh do it full screen and let's find some color to the similar to the what we have here I can probably just copy the value of the color Let, let's use the same value so let's paste here so we got the color now I'm going to add like control element which will be center container uh, what this container is doing is just keep like child of this container in in the center. So I created, I need to make it like on the whole area. So I'm going to click here and select whole area. And now every item which I'm going to add by default would be located in the center. So let's start by adding label. Label and let's type something, press space to start okay so we i we don't have right now any uh, custom scripts i'm sorry a custom font so let's use the default one uh, which we have and also let's uh, create like, like let's add one more not only to press start but if you want to exit you can press escape to exit okay now what we need to do is to add the script so i'm going to click uh, here new script let's select our scripts folder but first let's give some name so it will be start let's call it start because this uh, the first Scene which player would see once he start the game. So now let's save scripts. Oh, sorry, I'm saving the scene. So let's back to the scene. Let's save the scene, and now let's add the script. Make sure it's in correct folder, not in the scenes. So it scripts open, create. So now we have the script, and we want to handle uh, the input from the player. And also we're going to change the scene. So we need one function, which will be process. And as previously, we already did this. We're going to check input is action just pressed. And first we're going to use UI accept, which is has like space uh, button. And what, and let's add another one. So also we want to handle exit. So let's add input is action just pressed and here there is the default also input which is called ui ui cancel okay and now we want to uh let's start by this one so we want to exit from the game so i can do get three get three and here i can call quit uh so when I press escape, I will like exit from the game. Uh, but when I press this space bar, I want to load the game. So I need to change the scene. So how can I do it? I can do again, get three. And here I can do change scene to the file. And I can specify which scene do I want to open. And in our case, this is the world. Uh, but when I start the game right now, it started the game without the menu because uh, our scene right now is not uh, like default one. So as you remember, at the beginning, 
when we first launched is it asked what thing do you want to do as the default one so we need to change that so to change this i'm going to open project settings then i need to go here run and there is the main thing right now this is world and i want to change this to the start let's click open let's click close so now when i start the game I see this scene and I can click space and game is started and let's try another. So let's click escape. Uh, it's, we automatically closed the game. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is to create some music for our game. I will share the link to the audio file, which I'm using, but we would need also to create a new scene and there is the audio stream player. So for now, we're going to use just this without using like specific because with this audio listen 2D and player 2D and 3D, we can create like sound from different places. Uh, but right now, audio stream player should be fine for our case. And I would call this music player. And I need import my audio file. So let me find it and we have the assets folder. Let's create here new folder. Like, let's call it audio and let me drag my sound effect. Okay, it's here. So next I can select this audio effect and I can drag it here to the stream. Okay. And let's click auto play here. Let's save the theme. So like the first what we like told us how to do it is to add um, this audio player here to the music, uh, like to the world that we can add to the start scene, but it has some disadvantages. So let's try. So I can import here music player and I can here to the world i can also add music player and let's start game now so when i click start track is playing from the beginning so let me delete those notes from um, world so i did it from the world and let's do the same from the start so where is our start scene so yeah let's delete it from here so for music to continue playing we going to use uh, auto load in godot so i can click here project setting and here is the auto load i can select uh, i can select here script or i can select scene but in this case that will be the theme I can select music player and here is the name so I can add. So it's giving me some error, but I think we can just simply ignore it. So and now let's try. Let's start the game and see what would change. I start the game. I do and you see. Okay. 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 Right now I'm the music player. Uh, but it's a part of the like root node and also in code if for example we give it here name so let me open this so music player so for anywhere in the code i can type this music player and i can call function of the music player so this is how we can easily add music to our game Okay, and now let's add one more thing, which will be used as our game over scene. So when player is destroyed, we want to display just this scene. So similar as we did with the start, I'm going to use um, color rect. Click create and like, let's not use um, the center container this time because or we can use, but let's do it without. So 
like let's make screen something like dark dark blue something like this and we want to add label here the similar way as we did for the start scene let's add label let's click create and let's add let's add two labels but make sure they're not children of each other and now i can like move the label in the location so let's move one here and let's move another like right, right here so in the first one we are going to simply type game over and in the second one let's type something like uh, press uh press space to restart and you see this time we are not using the uh, center container so i need manually drag uh, into place where i want uh, this label to be located next let, let's add the script for this thing but let's also name this thing so it will be game over let's save this thing and let's add the script so make sure it's in correct folder scripts open create so we got the empty script and we also like we are interested in um, process function in the same way as we had uh, in start menu so we, we also going to handle the inputs so let's use something if input is action just press and we say press space to restart uh, what we want to do we want to change the thing to the like we want to restart the game so it's called get three change scene to the file and we want immediately restart so it will be our world scene and now we want somehow to like show the scene when player is dead so how we can do it we need to check if the player is destroyed and after that is restart the game so let's go to the player and inside of the player so when player is destroyed we want to change the scene so our right now our main scene is the world so we want inside of the world script to change scene to the another one but uh, our like world do not know when a player is destroyed so how we can like send kind of signal to the world that our player is destroyed we can do it by using the signal so let's create new signal it's simply type signal and uh, let's call it destroyed so this is how we define the new signal and now we want this send this signal so we have this method on area enter 2d so when our uh, player is destroyed this function is executed we have this in somewhere uh, in our player um, uh, connected to, to some other signal i'm sorry when when area so i think here note as you remember we use this signal area entered so when this function is executed we want to send the signal that ship is destroyed so i can call destroyed and emit so once i did it i can go to the world and inside of the player you see we got this new signal which was defined by us just now so now i can connect this signal to the script in our world scene so on player destroyed i can click connect and i can define what would happen if player is destroyed so i can change the scene so let's do get three change scene to file and i want to display game over screen so let's review one more time what happened so we have a function on area enter 2d which executed when our player collide with another area so we are calling this function q3 and area q3 
And when this executed, we emit new signal, which is uh, listened by world. And our world, once the signal is executed, emitted, I change scene to the game over. So now let's start the game and let's um, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.